Juliet Marzella Scantleberry, also known as Cash Ann or Cassandra of Indian Ground, St. Peter, entered peacefully into rest at age 65. Lifelong companion of Colin Bishop, daughter of the late Evelyn Scantleberry and Oliver Nichols, mother of Ryan, Trevor and Carl Scantleberry, Rosita Gill, Candacia Leslie, Jamal, Justin and the late Jakeem Scantleberry Bishop, grandmother of Tiffon, Tristan, Shamar, Shante, Shaheen, Kara, Travis, Rashad, Tiffany, Terrell, Daquan, Raisha, Samara, Malik, Nassar, Dakari, Kaya, Serenity, and Micah. Great grandmother of eight, sister of June, James, and Eric of the USA, the late Joycelyn, Laval, Dawn, and Ernest Walker, aunt of Kayla, Sophia Maynard, Andrea Cumberbatch, Debbie, Adrian, Sherland, Paul, Quint, and many others. Cousin of many. Sister-in-law of the Bishop family of deacons, Sid Michael. Relative of the Nichols family, Dorcas Scantleberry and family, and the Cumberbatch family of Diamond Corner, St. Peter. Friend of Verna Cumberbatch, Mrs. Williams, and others. The funeral of the late Juliet Marzella Scantleberry leaves Earl's Funeral Home on Thursday, October 26, 2023, for Indian Ground Seventh-day Adventist Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet for the service of Thanksgiving at 2 p.m. The funeral will then proceed to St. Peter's Cemetery for the internment. Live streaming of the funeral may be viewed via watch.earlsfuneralhome.com forward slash Scantleberry. Jakeem Romaine Scantleberry Bishop, affectionately known as Twin of Indian Ground, St. Peter, entered peacefully into rest at age 25. Landscaper of Jasmine House, Royal Westmoreland, son of Colin Bishop and the late Juliet Scantleberry. Twin brother of Justin Scantleberry Bishop, brother of Ryan, Trevor and Carl Scantleberry, Rosita Gill, Candacia Leslie and Jamal Bishop, uncle of Tiffany, Shamar, Shante, Shaheem, Raisha, Tiffon, Tristan, Kara, Rashad, Terrell, Nequan, Travis, Samara, Malik, Nassar, Micah, Serenity, Dakari, and Kaya. Great uncle of eight, nephew of June James, Eric of the USA, Joycelyn and Patsy Bishop of the USA, Angelia, Janice, Sonia, the late Anthony, Beverly and Cameron Bishop, Colleen, Janice, Jackie and Peter Brewster, cousin of Kayla, Makiba, Adrian, Sophia Maynard, Rhonda, Stacy, Rohan, Melissa, Omar, Tricia, and many others. Relative of the Scantleberry, Nichols, and Bishop families. Friend of Crystal Jordan, Kaya John, and many others. The funeral of the late Jakeem Romaine Scantleberry Bishop leaves Earl's Funeral Home on Thursday, October 26, 2023, for Indian Ground Seventh-day Adventist Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet for the service of Thanksgiving at 2 p.m. 
The funeral will then proceed to St. Peter's Cemetery for the internment. Morning colors are optional. Live streaming of the funeral may be viewed via watch.earlsfuneralhome.com forward slash Scantleberry. Concerned about you, he's concerned. 
Reading from the 23rd Psalm, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, who is shepherding me, and I lack nothing. He causes me to lie down in green fields. He guides me beside quiet waters. He revives my life. He leads me in a pathway that are righteous for his name. Even when I walk through the valley of deep darkness, I will not be afraid because he, because you are with me. Your rod and your staff will comfort me. You prepare a table before me, even in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, cup overfloweth. Truly goodness and mercy and love pursue me all the days of my life. And I remain in the Lord's temple forever. This evening, on behalf of the Assembly of Venice Church here at Indian Ground, I want to extend my condolences to the family, the Scantlebury family, and the loss of a mother, a son, a friend, a caretaker, and also to a community who has lost a special person. And I believe that we, as we are here today, we come to pay our last respect. As we continue this service, let it be a time that we can reflect on the good things that they have done in our lives. And as we can remember what, how, how they have blessed us. This evening, officiating with me is Pastor Granville Hines. He's a pastor of the St. John District. And Pastor Dale Haynes, he's a director, person ministry director at the East Caribbean Conference. And this evening, we all come here to share with you and grieve with you at this sad moment. We invite everyone at this time to stand as we have our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we have gathered this evening to give you thanks for the life of our dear sister Juliet and our dear brother Jackie. Heavenly Father, it's a sorrowful occasion, a time when many ask many questions which seems to remain unanswered. But this evening, Lord, we have come to give you thanks for their life. They were gifts given to their family and by extension to their friends and the community where they resided. We ask you at this time to comfort the grieving ones, calling his entire family, the siblings, cousins, all relatives and even friends, and the community of Indian Ground and beyond. Heavenly Father, we do share in their grief. We cannot even begin to imagine what they are going through, but we know, Lord, that you understand all things, and we believe, Lord, that you provide for them the comfort they stand so much in need of. And so, Lord, as we celebrate, as we give you thanks, let us hold on to that thought, the promise Christ has made to those who love him, that those who are faithful to him in life, if they should die before he should return, they will have a place with him in his eternal kingdom. So, Lord, let us all live in hope, knowing that we serve a great, merciful, and loving God. And therefore, Lord, it's either you want to commit each and every individual into your care and keeping it, especially the family, and they pray, Lord, as they go away for this service, they'll go away understanding that God has not abandoned them in their time of need, but God is present with them every step of the way. Into your hands, therefore, we commit this service. And whatsoever is said and done, may it bring honor and glory to your holy name, is our prayer in Jesus' name. Kindly be seated. At this time, we have a tribute in song by Nicola Greenwich. Good evening to the church. Oh, 
Like a comet blazing across the evening sky Gone too soon Like a rainbow fading with the twinkling of an eye Gone too soon Shining, sparkling Splendidly bright In one day Gone one night Like a loss of sunlight On a cloudy afternoon Like a castle built upon a sandy beach Gone too soon Like a perfect flower that is just beyond your reach Dying with the rising of the moon Gone too soon Gone too soon At this time, we have our first scripture reading by Michaela Bishop, followed by the hymn, And Can It Be? Good afternoon to all the family and friends who are present and those who are streaming online with us. Thank you for your presence. The first scripture reading is taken from Psalm 21, Verse 1 to 4. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation. How greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholden the trust, the request of his lips sealer. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou shalt set if a crown of pure gold on his head. He asks life of thee, and thou giveth it him, even length of days, forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation, honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him, for thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with the countenance, for the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Thine shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Here ends the scripture reading.
We shall now have our eulogy by Adonna Griffith, followed by our second scripture reading. While we wait for the technicals to come into place, I want to express my personal condolences to the family and, you know, we're going to do what we have to do. Juliet Marzella Scantlebury. How many of you know her by that name? But everybody knows Cashan or Cassandra. A hard worker, a giver a mother of two beautiful daughters, Rosita and Candacea, and six wonderful sons, Car Ryan, Trevor, Carl, Jamal, Justin, and Jaquim. Born to Evelyn Scantlebury and Oliver Nichols on September 8, 1958, at Indian Ground St. Peter, Juliet was the sister to June, Eric, James, and the late Joyce Lynn Laval, Dawn, Marston, and Ernest Walker. Today's eulogy is difficult because I'm also eulogizing her son, Jakeem, 25 years old, fun-loving, helpful, outgoing, and ambitious. Jakeem Romaine Scanterbury Bishop, the youngest of the twin, born to Colin Bishop and Cassandra on October 18, 1997. Four Hill Plantation grounds, pig pens, cow, cow pens, pastures beyond recall, alongside her father Oliver, was the stomping ground of a young Cassand Cashan. Everywhere he went, working tirelessly to ensure the crops and animals were well taken care of. From dusk to dawn, and she continued his legacy even after his death. She took a job in the Brink security firm for many years until she decided, I've worked hard enough from a young age and took an early retirement. If you truly know Kashan, you would know that she was resolute, resigned, and if she was convinced or convicted about anything, that was it. She was going to do it. Cassandra was a dresser. She loved fashion. She, Cassandra was a dresser. She loved fashion, loved to see people dress fashionably and would compliment them. Cash on at home or going to the shop with a razzle dazzle look was a different woman when you saw her in her boots, palazzo pants, hair slicked down and the signature red lipstick. Stepping high and have the crowd bawling when she arrived fashionably late to her own delight. And you might not have recognized it, but red was her favorite color. She gave that to the twin. The siblings believed that they loved dressing up more than any of them. Jaquim, before his passing, and even today, was and is very fashion conscious. He was the drip and the life of the party. Kayla, Tiffy, Justin, and Shante can attest to this. If you were sitting too quiet at any event, you would hear him, get hype, get hype, get hype. Every cruise, promotion, or event, trust Jaquin to have a new outfit from head to toe. Shoes and shades and chain and even customized outfits. He was always on point and he knew it. If it was not mashing, he isn't wearing it. People look forward to when the twin turned up, as it was a photo op for everybody. Juliet and Jaquim, mother and son, two loving and giving spirits, bonded together even in the afterlife. You could never come to her home and leave empty-handed. Ever so slight, you had to get something. I could almost hear her now, and these are the words of Candy. 
Don Don, pick your breakfast so Janet she waiting. You want six pears? Jamal, Papa's still in the tree. Jair, bring some limes. She would give. We would always laugh and say that she would bring back fruits into season that weren't in season. Jakeem was the same way. Always willing to give and help, even making noise to get a chance to help. His sister Candy recalls particularly his, her cutting, him cutting her lawn as this was his specialty area. Ham in Kashan's home was a Christmas delicacy as her daughter Rosie recounts. If mommy felt like eating ham, she bought one all year round. She loved meat, and her son Carl jokingly believes that mommy had to eat at least 20,000 whole chickens in her own lifetime. <laughs> the only thing that can compare was her love for Vic's Vaporub. She loved meat. Her cousin Sauce called her the meat woman. Kashan, what you cooking? Pig head, what else? Pork. What else? Chicken. What else? Liver. She may put in a breadfruit sometimes. You want some? It was a carbine pepper pot for her, and Don Don loved providing the meat. You could not go hungry around mom. Jamal recalls from the time she hears the gate open, Mom, I got some food here for you. You hungry? About three times in quick succession, getting louder each time before he could answer. Jakeem also possessed her love for eating, despite his small stature, and loved her cooking. His nephew, Shaquem, smiled as he remembered those Sundays when he and Justin would come over and went ask, well, wanna eat it? wanna eat? Wanna eat already? Yeah, but we still want one, some of yours. Smiling, and he loved gummy bears. Juliet was blessed with what her nephew, Sherlyn, calls the gift of gab. Her mouth was sweet. You will always hear how sweet you look, how pretty your skin is, or how somebody will soon marry you, all those kind of things. She loved people and giving compliments. Jakeem was quite the opposite, quiet, humble, and unassuming, but very polite. Not so much a talker, but interacted well if he knew you. Particularly his other half, Justin, whom he loved dearly and had a great bond with. He was a landscaper by profession, a job he loved, never wanting to be idle. He started working right out of school until his untimely death. He was highly motivated and motivational, his niece Shantae recalls, the numerous times he would encourage her to get her driver's license as he was also working to get his. He had plans to live life to the fullest, but clearly, the Lord had a different plan. Juliet didn't only have a sweet mouth, she had sweet names for people and a unique way of showing her love. For Colin, she showed her love by encouraging him to stay home and rest, very pronounced, when she felt he was working too hard. Rosie received numerous calls daily inquiring about her well-being, if she was working, if she was all right, Carl, her, Carly, and Ryan, she always wanted to know when they were coming up. Don Don was her star boy, whom she always wanted to ease off the beverages. Candy, her big one, well, you don't trim down. <laughs> well, the Bishop trio, Jamal, her AP, Justin, and Jakeem were her babies. Her sister June knew that she, lo she was loved by her as they sat for hours regularly reminiscing about childhood stories, catching up on what was happening in their respective lives, and sharing anything at all, and keeping each other's company. A visit with her sister would not be complete if she didn't inquire about Daba and how he was keeping. Shamar recounts, Grand Grand never left him out. Her grands, Tiffon, Tristan, Shante, Shaquem, Tiffany, Tyrell, and Chaddy knew a call from Grand Grand May. She wanted to see them, and she had something for them. Whether at her favorite window, whether at her favorite window looking out, or on her bench with Verna, or on the veranda relaxing with her sister June, 
Juliet kept the neighbors informed of who came and went to their homes as the Gap's neighborhood watch, a name given to her by her granddaughter, Shantae. Juliet returned to her Christian upbringing by having regular Bible study sessions before she was called home. At this time, Sorry about that. At this time, we want to thank Almighty God, Jehovah, for blessing us with the time we had with our mom. And I'm speaking on behalf of the siblings. And Joaquin, Colin, for the third, for, and thanking God for Colin for the 30 plus years you dedicated to our mom and her household. You came in as a husband, father, provider, and guide loving her unconditionally. Thank you for being a wonderful father to Jakim over these 25 years. You loved him and supported him. You loved him and supported him from baby until now. Thank you to our family, friends, neighbors, near and far, the community, Pastor Sobers and the church family here at Indian Ground, the STDA church, Nicole Willoughby and her family, the Ramsey and Blackman families for your kindness and prayerful support over the years and throughout this difficult time. Crystal Jordan and family for your wavering, unwavering support and standing by our family, Verna Cumberbatch and Mrs. Williams and anybody that we forgot to mention. Thank you all for always being there for our mother. Jakeem's friends, we want to say to you, thank you for being there for him in his life and now in his passing and supporting Justin as he deals with this loss. God bless you all. a script reading at this time by Tiffany Gill. Good evening. I would like to thank everyone this evening for coming out to celebrate the lives of my grandmother, Juliet Scantlebury, and my uncle, Joaquin Bishop Scantlebury. Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 4. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. <laughs> And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any pain, for the former things are passed away. Here ends the Bible reading. Thank you, Tiffany. As we sing the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, we will collect a love offering on behalf of the family to help defer the expenses 
of this great loss. I believe that all of us we come here not just to pay our respects, but we can help with the contribution so that they will have to bear the total burden of burying their mother and a son and a friend. So that's that as we come to mourn, take a little time and share a little bit of your love and an offering to help the family during these difficult times. As we see in the sound, the ushers will collect the offering and the offering is going towards the cost of the funeral. Father, we want to thank you this afternoon as you have blessed this island with showers. You have given them a lot. We pray that these offerings will help ease the pain of the family who are grieving as members of a community, society, community, workmates, show their love in different areas. Bless us all in Jesus' name, Amen. Before I introduce the speaker on behalf of the representative of St. Andrew, the Honorable Romel Springer. He expresses condolences to the family 
is away in Ghana. So he asked me to express on his behalf, and I hope that when he returns, he will come and visit the family also. With that said, I want to introduce the speaker for the moment. He's none other than Pastor Dale Haynes. He's a colleague, a close friend. And when we were sitting in the planning for this funeral, I said, well, look, I know the family well. And sometimes it's best to bring someone from outside to give a different perspective on what is going on. And I believe the words that he will give to you will help to comfort and to help with some healing. I know that as a family, it's hard to lose a loved one. And depend, don't, don't matter what circumstances it's under. But as believers, we live by hope that someday we will see our loved ones again. Pastor Haynes. Pastor Stobers, thank you kindly for your very kind words of introduction and your words and your special invitation to do this service. Can I be 100 with everybody? Can I keep it 100, everybody? Yeah, can I keep it very real, everybody? This, I've done many, many funerals here in Barbados and across the Caribbean, but this one is different. This one is, this one is extremely different, and I trust. So on, so on behalf of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and also the leadership of this wonderful church here at Indian Ground, leader being Pastor Sobers, I want to extend my deepest and heartfelt condolences to the Scanterbury and to the Bishop families. And um, also to Justin, I got, I got a message on my way down. It took, it took us an hour and 15 minutes to get here, right? And the message was coming from the Mango Bay Reservation, and Reservation Department, they want to extend their heartfelt condolences and sympathies to you, Justin, and your family. So I, I deliver, I hope they're watching stream. I know they can't be here, but I hope they're watching stream, all right? And if you should hear them, tell them that I deliver the message, all right? I deliver the message. I want you to, in your hearing, everybody, I just want to use the topic, reach out and touch. Reach out and touch. I want to use this, this wonderful story. It comes from Mark chapter 5. It reads, verse 23. It says, and besought him, greatly saying, my little daughter, life at the point of death. I pray thee, come lay thy hand on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him. Much people followed him and thronged him. This was Jairus who came to Jesus. And Jairus asked Jesus now to come and heal his daughter who was sick. The Bible says, hear me everybody. The Bible says, and much people followed him. They literally followed him. Not on Twitter or Insta, but they actually followed him. And they thrown him. The Bible says, a certain woman with an issue of blood, 12 years. And verse 26 says, and, and has suffered many things and many physicians, and has spent all that she had, was nothing better, but grew worse. 27 says, and when she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, touch his garment. Verse 28 says, for she said, if I may touch of his clothes, I shall be whole. Somebody say amen. 29 says, and straightway the fountain of blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And verse 30 says, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned in the press, said, who touched my clothes? 31 says, and Jesus and his disciples said unto him, thou knowest, <laughs> thou knowest, thou, thou knowest, thou seest this multitude thronging thee, and you have the temerity, the gumption to ask, really, who touched you? I mean, I, I add, I am I, for emphasis. And he looked and round about and said to her, that, who has done this thing? Verse 35 says, and he said to her, hear me everybody. He said, daughter, thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Reach out and touch. Let me bring together these stories, everybody. One, it was, he was going to heal Jairus' daughter. 
The woman was not in the picture, Bishop. The woman was not in the picture. She photobombed the shot. The picture was to be Jairus and Jairus' daughter. But in came this woman, photobombed the shot and put herself in the picture. Here the deal. This story or these stories bring together what I call the contrast of life. One, a woman who was poor vis-a-vis -vis a girl who was rich. A woman who was an outcast, but a girl who was affluent. A woman who was sick for 12 years, but a girl who was well for 12 years. It brings together everybody here today and those on Zoom and those on, on YouTube. It shows us the contrast. You might be high or you might be low. If you're high, you still need God. If you're low, you still need God. Somebody say amen. Whatever part of the spectrum you might be, we all need God. It tells me this, that we all have issues. I don't care what part of the spectrum you're from. I don't care what of your demographics, your social profile. We, I mean, we all have issues. Your issue might not be my issue. My issue might not be your issue. But if you don't have an issue, that's your issue. Because we all have issues. But I've stopped by at the In The Ground Church to tell everybody that God is the tissue for all issues. Here's the deal, everybody. This woman was not part of the picture. It was supposed to be Jairus and his daughter. It was not her turn. But thanks be to God, it was her time. <laughs> it may not be your time that you think well, or your turn, but certain be to God, it is your time. Watch this. So Jesus was going with Jairus to Jairus' house. Woman came out of the blue, the Bible says, and touched the hem of his garment. The Bible says the woman spent all of her money all of her money and grew of the physicians and she grew worse. This lady could have been a good critic. She spent all her money, went to all the doctors, and she grew worse. She could have called into Brown Stats or talk, or talk, or talk some, some talk program and say, well, criticize every doctor. She spent all of her money and she grew worse. She could have been a good critic. This woman could have been a good cynic and believe the worst. You know, there's people who always believe the worst. The sky is always falling. Always believe the worst. She could have been a critic. She could have been a cynic. This woman could have also been a skeptic. No longer trust. Because she put all her money, sis. Grew worse. So she could have been a skeptic. No longer trust. This woman could have also been toxic. So many bad things happening to her, she could, all, she could have been toxic. And you know, let me tell you this, in the ground and those on Zoom, let me tell you, please beware of toxic people. Because toxic people will intoxicate you. Let me put it where you can reach it. You feel good and happy, and, you, and some toxic person calls you, and then they tell you how oh, the sky is falling, everything is always bad, and when you finish the phone call, you become toxic. So beware of toxic people, because toxic people would intoxicate you. Huh. So the woman could have been a critic. The woman could have been a skeptic. The woman could have been a cynic. The woman could have been toxic, but the woman stretched like elastic. You gotta learn how to stretch. Let me tell you all tell you this, everybody. In this life, this real life, you gotta learn how to stretch. Stretch beyond your intellect. Because your way, God's ways are not your ways. Somebody say amen. And I'm glad that God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Somebody say praise God. Just stretch beyond your means. Stretch beyond your intellect and touch God. Because life, bish. Life is up and down, up and down. One day up, tomorrow you're down, trust me. One day you're here, tomorrow you're zero, trust me. One day you're in a pet house, and the same day you're in a dog house. Yes. That's life. One day you're somebody's BFM, ride or die. <laughs> home girl, home boy, my dog. And the same time the person can let you down. Isn't that true, everybody? Life is funny. 
But what I like about God is, he's the same yesterday, somebody say amen, today and forever. Life up and down, trust me. So you got to learn how to stretch. A young boy joined COVID Academy and said, Pastor, he was, he was vexed. He said, Pastor, life's so up and down that he don't know how to praise God. I said, what? I said, I said, guy, if you should leave and connect your heart to the heart monitor, you better praise God your sign is up and down. <laughs> up and down is a symbol of life. Keep it real, yeah? Up and down is a symbol of life. If it's flat line, you're dead. Up and down means that you're alive, somebody say amen. So life is all about dealing with up and down. But the God we serve is the God of the mountain <laughs> and the God of the valley and the God of the day and the God of the night. Let it be up and down. God roll him if you're still. You're going to learn how to stretch. Because life funny, man. They talk well that they're article, but some of them artificial. You know what I mean? Keeping a hundred. You, you got to learn how to, how to stretch. Because the reality, Pastor Hines, the reality of a valley is, the reality of a valley is that it points up to a slope. Huh. So when you're going through a valley, then it points up to a slope. I mean that God isn't willing now to take you higher. That woman could have could have done the worst, could have done the most, post all of that, did all that on Insta, did all that. I mean, I mean, young people are on Instagram, we are older ones are on Facebook. <laughs> she could have done the most. But what she did, she heard that Jesus was passing. And I'm so glad, well, oh, I'm so glad. I, I, I can stand unreservedly and say, well, that I believe in God. I don't know, seriously, I mean, I, I, I don't want to come across to offend you, but... I'm standing and saying, well, that I believe in God. She heard that Jesus was passing by. And she came through the crowd and stretched and touched his garment. I'm saying this to all of us today in life. As we deal, life, deal with life, learn how to stretch. I was doing some research, ma'am. I researched, I tried to research this lady's blood, her blood type. I didn't know. I researched what her blood type had to be. And I concluded that her blood type had to be B positive. <laughs> she would only have to be B positive. Because you can't be negative. Successful people don't. Mm, she had to be positive. And coming to Christ, she, she knew well. That if, if he was good for the others, he was also good for her. If he could heal others, he could also heal her. If, she, if he could return the sight of, of the blind to others, she can also, he can also stop her flow. Learning how to stretch. The Bible says, well, that she was that, that when she touched Jesus, the other disciples came around. I don't know if they had a WhatsApp group, but they would be WhatsApp and saying, who he think he is? Smiley face. Then one then one would return in a straight face. I don't know who he think he is. People found him. He asked who touched him. Let me put it where you can reach it. At the time I put down, I put down my car. I said, "Well, Pastor Storvis, I am catching the bus. I'm on vacation, and I'm going to catch the ZR van." <laughs> Serious, Justin. I ride in the West. Put down my car and I decided, well, let me roll in this ZR van. Boy, I tell you, Indian ground and those on, on YouTube. I thought I was the last passenger to get on. <laughs> not knowing well there, no, not, not knowing well that this van will continue to fill up and fill up and fill up and fill up. So the, the, the driver put me right there where the conductor was sit. So I thought, well, no more. I've taken the conductor's seat. Then other people started coming in. Then a, a oldies came in with a big bag of feed, Pastor Stobers. I said, where can she be going? With that huge bag of feed. The driver said, big man, hold that. Okay. Cameraman, I have a car. I just took the bus because I'm on vacation. Is that why I'm on vacation? And I was rampant. 
When you're in servants that are, you don't ask who touched you. You ask, did I reach? <laughs> but Jesus said, no, 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 no. This is a different touch. You're all around just, you're all just around me to floss. You're just around me. But this lady is around me because she needs something from me. This is one thing to have Jesus around you. Are you being around Jesus? But the next thing, well, to be connected to Jesus. Now here's the deal. She reached out and she touched. Let's all touch him today. To deal with a double burial. It costs more than your personality type. You know, it's got some people with a strong personality type. It takes more than you just willing yourself. You need to reach out and touch Jesus today. So reach out and touch. Touch him for help. I'm so glad that God is willing to help. I'm so glad, well, that he's a very present help in time of trouble. I'm so glad that when you go through the waters, he's there. And the fire, he's there. And the storm, he's there. And in the valley of the shadow of death, he's also there. Somebody say amen. Wherever you go, God is there to help you. Reach out and touch for help. And then, my friends, reach out and touch for hope. When Christ came, it was him. Hope has come. And I'm saying this to all of us, everybody. Jesus brings hope. Not just wishful thinking. But there's hope in Jesus, man. I believe in Jesus. I believe that he came to this world. I believe well that he walked this world. I believe well that, that, that he did miracles on this earth. And I believe that he was placed in the tomb. And I believe they came forth. I believe that he's coming again. God has hope. So touch him for help. <laughs> touch him because there's hope. But here's the deal. The Bible says that death is not the end. The Bible says that those who die in Christ, somebody say amen. amen. Look, I was telling some people this. That when you die in Christ, you shall receive first class treatment. You, have never, you, you may never flown first class, but when you die in Christ, you shall receive first class treatment. Here's the deal. When Christ shall come, the Bible says the dead in Christ shall rise first. So you shall receive first class treatment. Somebody say amen. There's hope even beyond the grave, man. Why no grave can hold Christ's body down? Because he has the keys of death and the grave. Here's the deal. Reach out and touch him for help. Reach out and touch him for hope. And finally, reach out and touch him for heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that there's heaven. Somebody say amen. amen. That Christ will come and take us all to heaven. Somebody say amen. I am glad, everybody. I'm glad those of you too. You can drop it in the, you know how you do it? You can drop it in, your, in the chat, you can, wherever. I'm glad. And I believe in heaven. If thousands could have believed that Trump will build a wall, allow me to believe that Christ will come and take us all to heaven. Somebody say amen. As a matter of fact, that he is gone and prepared places for all of us. Allow us to believe. So here's the deal, sis. My sister in blue, here's the deal. I saw a story where a man wanted to look flashy and look and dress hard and dress mint. So this is what he did. He went into a store not to steal, but to switch the price tags. He wanted to dress hard. 
Justin, you look hard. You look mint. He wanted to dress hard. So what he did? Can't afford to buy the things. So he loaded himself with some price tags and switched the price tags and went back the next morning to buy the things that he switched with the price tags. Let me tell you this. I'm glad that Christ has not gone to switch the price tags. But I'm glad, uh, Sister Griffith, that he's gone to prepare a real place for us. Somebody say amen. amen. Real place for us. And I'm glad, I am glad, that he's coming, coming again. And the Bible says, well, let's keep our eyes lifted up because our redemption would draw if not. Lift up your head, lift up all ye gates. Because the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He's coming again, everybody. Just reach out and touch him. Touch him for help. When all of us are gone, and you're there by yourself, he will never leave you. Touch him for help. Touch him for hope. Because the just shall live by faith. And touch him for heaven. Today, family, we live in a world with real problems, real issues, real stress, and a real devil. But can I tell you, we have a real God. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that all of us shall be victimized by the common denom denominator which is called death. But I want to tell you this today. Death is not the end. Because there's life in Jesus. We go to the grave. But Christ is coming again. So reach out and touch. Touch him as he's passing by. And allow the virtue, the power to leave from him and give you the help and give you the hope and rivet in your mind that there's a place called heaven. Let us all make our calling and our election sure. Family, keep strong in the Lord. Touch him. Receive the help. Receive the hope. And be reminded of heaven. Today, we want to pray for the family. I'm asking all the family members to please stand. As you do that, prayer for you. And those who are seeing the family, please pray in your heart, man, for the family to deal with real, raw emotions. The prophet asks for a double portion. Pray that God will give them the double portion, man, to deal with the real, raw emotions that death brings. You get me? Pray for them. And family, you stay together. Bishop and Scanderberry, stay together. Pull together. Be there to, for one another. You get me? Because you need one, you need each other. Bow your heads, please. Father God, great is thy faithfulness. We've come, God, in this Indian ground church. And there, God, we ask your divine blessing on all of us. We ask you, God, as the family is standing, hold them, God, in the hollow of your hands. 
Allow them to know, God, that you will never leave them nor forsake them. And Father, take them past the cliches, take them past the catchphrases, and be real to them as they reach out and touch you. May they, God, grow from strength to strength. God, I don't understand, but you do. Order, God, their steps in your word. Day by day, God, with every passing moment, God, may they find strength to meet their trials near. Buy them together, the song says, so that, God, this bishop and Scandaberry family would rally around each other, would pray together, would cry together, would sing together, would encourage each other together, knowing, God, that strong minds break strong chains, but also that you're in the midst of them to bless them. Show them the way. Show them, God, that Jesus is still the way. Heal their hearts. Give them the resolve that they will continue trusting. Father God, help all of us today to make our calling and our election sure. So when everything is said and done, that God, that we will continue to be right with you. Bless this family again. Keep them strong. Keep them committed. Keep them focused. And keep them, God, believing in you for Christ's sake. Shall we stand, everybody? And when you do what I what I, I have told you to do, everybody, keep praying for the family, man. Let's all stand, please. Let's all stand. Sure, I'll we shall do the committal now. No? Yeah. Oh. That's a new information, sure. So we can sing the hymn. Yeah. And join the hymn, you'll see it, man. That's a new intel I got. All right? New intel I got. Pray for them, you know, people. Pray, pray, them, pray for them, you know, my friends. You get me? You get me, everybody? Yes, nice, man. Yeah. For your mercy never I love this song, yes? This song brought me through COVID. Real talk, everybody. I've been held you believe the pastor? Real talk, this brought me through, sis. Sis in green, from let your color. It brought me through COVID. Till I laid my hand. Till I laid my hand. So DJ, can you, can you play for the top oh, for me, DJ, please? Can you play for the top for me? Can you play for the top, I love you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Play for the top, play for the top. For your mercy never fails me All my days We allow the I've been held in your Final view From the, the moment, moment that I wake Can you sing this song in the ground? You know it? Sing it, man. Till I lay my Makiba, you know it? Sing it, Makiba. Oh, I, I will, will say Of the goodness of God Sing, man. Come on. Final view it. All my life you have been faithful Sing the song, those on YouTube, sing it and All my life you have been, been so, so good Reach out and touch, man With every breath that I am able I'm gonna sing Oh, I, I will sing Of the goodness of God Sound good in the ground. I love your, your voice. voice. You have led me through the fire and in darkness night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. Sing, Bishop. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived. In the goodness of God hey. Cause all my life you have I've been faithful. faithful Oh yes you have And all my life you have been so, so good every breath that I am able I'm going to sing in the ground oh, I will sing
gonna hear you sing in the ground. You're good. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Your goodness is running after. Oh yeah, it's running after me. Sing the song in the ground. Come on. Bishop's got a very whole tight. This is running out. It's running out of me. And all my life you have been faithful. Trust him in the ground. Reach out and touch Jesus, man. And all my life you He's have faithful. been so, so. We're gonna sing. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I'm gonna sing. All of my life, you've been faithful. God has been faithful to us. No, my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkness night you are close like no other I know you as a father I know you as a friend and I have stayed in the goodness of God sing the song my friends hey, Keep praying for this family, you know. Oh, yes, you have. And all my life you, you have, have been so, so good. Sing. With every breath that I am able. Hold up this family, oh, man. I will sing of the goodness of God.
let in the rotten wood. Let in the rotten wood. And all my life you have been faithful. Can I, can I say thank you for your cooperation, everybody? Can I say thank you so much for your profound cooperation, your sincere, your sincere. You have me extremely respectful. You have me res extremely orderly. We can do the committal at this time. Everybody, can, can you stand with me, please, everybody? Can, can, can you stand with me, everybody, please? Thank you so much. Just stand with me, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just stand with me, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let us prepare for the committal at this time. Okay, after the committal, we'll have that final prayer and then we prepare to make our way to the cemetery for the burial. Let us begin. Okay, let us have it quiet, please. Okay, let us, let us be quiet at this time. Thank you. For as much in his God and his infinite mercy and love has permitted our dear sister Juliet Marzella Scanterbury and Joachim Romain Scanterbury Bishop to lay down the burdens of this life, we now commit their bodies to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in certain hope of the second coming of Jesus Christ and the resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pastor Sobers. Father, we want to thank you for this day. And your prayers to be with the family as they go through this morning and their loss. We ask, dear Father, for your comfort, the Holy Spirit, that they, they, someday soon we we'll all meet together when your son put in his appearance. Father, we live by hope, and dear Father, by hope we want to see you again. 
touch the hearts of the grieving family. We know the pain, we know the suffering that they're going through. But Father, as we pray and we work together, continue to be with us as we look forward to seeing your soon resurrected son. This is my prayer in the son, Jesus' name. Amen. Keep standing, everybody, please. Just keep standing as the ministers come out, followed by the casket, all right? Followed by the pall bearer. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your Pure. 
worship your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. Sing like this. His name is above loneliness. Oh, his name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above every other name. He says, That is who. Trump of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. The morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. 
where the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. And the trumpet of the Lord shall And when the save of earth, everybody, and the roll is called up shall we all sing? When All together now, all together, on that bright, on the bright and this morning when the day together of his resurrection chair. The home beyond, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll when the roll Never for the master. For the master from the dawn to set his sun. Let us Then when all, then when all our life And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be, I'll be there. When the king is called up when the roll Let's call up yonder. Let's do the chorus again, please. When the roll. When the roll. When the roll. When the roll. Let's call up yonder. When the roll is call up yonder, I'll be there. Good singing. Let's turn to page six. We shall do the hymn where we all get to heaven. It says, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he, prepare, he will prepare for us a place. Here we all. Wondrous. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions. In the Everybody when? When we all When we all While we walk While we walk the pilgrim Clouds will over But when? But when? Sing this song, everybody. When you see Jesus, first time to let us bend. Let us bend, be true and faithful. Trust in service. Just one glimpse. Just one glimpse of him and glory. Will the everybody where we all when we all. When we all Onward to the price before us Onward to the price before us Soon his beauty Soon the pretty gates Sing and shout the 
from the top when we all, when we all get away. Sing a song in the ground. When we all. Victory. Lovely singing, my friends. Lovely singing. It says, I shall see the king where the angels sing. I shall see the king someday in a better land on the golden strand. And with him shall ever stay in his glory. I shall see the king and forever endless praises sing. It was on Calvary. Jesus died for me. I shall see the king someday. From the top. In the better land, in the better land, everybody now. Can you do everybody now all together, all together now in the in the land in the land of song, all together in the land of song. Where the night with my Lord won't slain. Come and do it. Sing everybody. I shall see the king and forever sing. It was on Calvary. I shall see the king. I will just see the king. Hold on, everybody. Hear this one now. Let's go on. I shall see the king. All my tributes bring. From the top. I shall. I shall see the king. I shall see the king. My tributes bring. Then my song shall be. In the glory, in his glory. And forever, and forever. And let's praise the sing. It was on Calvary. That is our desire, that is our impetus to see the king someday. The other hymn says, Come we that love the Lord, let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord, join in a song with sweet accord, and thus surround the throne. It says, We are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We are marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. I love the Lord. Join in. Family, we're marching. We're marching to Zion. Y'all sound good. We're marching. We're marching up for the time. You're a beautiful sing. Let those refuse to sing. Who never knew. But children. You miss me. Marching, everybody. Here this, everybody. Hold, hold on. Here this one. Here this, everybody. It says the hills of Zion yield. All together, the hills, the hill of Zion. Uh, everybody. Before we reach. Before we reach. We are marching. Beautiful. Beautiful side. Beautiful city of God. The letter of sounds, a 
Gabon. Behold, he that keepeth Israel can neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun smite thee by day, or the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Sing. <laughs> Let me through the fire.
Sing. As I told you in the church, everybody, please pray for this, these families, that God truly will keep them. You would have seen, you would have witnessed, you would have felt the real raw emotions that death brings. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you continue to pray for this family. Mm -hmm. And family, I want to offer you the support of the Indian Ground Seventh Day Adventist Church, the leadership, as you go through this very difficult time. Let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, everyone. Pastor Sober is praise for us. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the blessings of your life here, Father. The life that our sister Jennifer lives in the community. The life that her son lives, full of life. But we who are living there, Father, we have to continue. We pray there, Father, for strength for each one of us who are bowing here. 
Job said that man was born of a woman had but a short time. And he asked the question, if a man dies, shall he live again? We all live by hope. Hope that we will soon see our coming Redeemer. That's the hope for the Christian and the believer who believe in God. This evening, I have heard it for that the family have hope. As they continue to live, they know they will be pain. If you know they'll be dazed, they'll be long to hear the voice of that loved one or hug them, the Father, as a church, as a community. Let's rally around them. Give them hope. Give them encouragement. This is my prayer, son, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Scantyberry Bishop family, God bless you all. God bless you all.